What's up you guys, Mardload458 here. Today we have a very important video and it's about the newest version of Android that has been announced on 25th of June 2014 and it's been released as a developer preview. The new version goes by the name of Android L following the alphabetical naming trend Google has set. The full name is yet to be announced but most likely it will be a dessert name just like all other versions. The Android L brings new power on animation which looks the best so far in my opinion. Android L's easter egg is webdriver Torzo, which was a mystery on YouTube a few months ago. The first thing you'll notice when you power on the Android L is the completely overhauled UI that Google likes to call Material Design UI. Screen is now unlocked by swiping up from the lock screen. The lock screen widgets have been removed but now you can access camera by swiping left. And the main new feature are notifications which appear in the center and can be easily accessed or removed in case you don't need them. The notification panel has been drastically changed and now boasts a completely new design. It doesn't matter where you swipe down, you'll still access notification. If you swipe one more time, you'll get access to quick toggles and useful settings. This is where Google really did a good job. If you tap on Wi-Fi icon, you get to turn it on immediately. But if you tap on Wi-Fi text, it will take you to Wi-Fi settings. We've reached the settings app, which has many changes starting with its icon. Settings themselves are basically the same, but the organization and grouping is what differs. Take a look. The navigation bar icons are changed according to the new material design. It's the first change to the icon since Ice Cream Sandwich back in 2011. Recent apps now get big, large and bulky app icons with nice shadow and animation. You can also swipe them to remove. Google warns us that this is still a preview version and that app crashes and inconsistencies may occur. I've tried hill climb racing and temple run to check for problems and I found them to be working perfectly normal, with no problems at all. That doesn't mean problems won't occur though. Android L fully utilizes art instead of Delvic, and some apps are still not compatible with art, which means they just aren't compatible with Android L. On the other hand, Android L is a monster when it comes to performance, thanks to art runtime. It lets it run on a constant 60 frames per second frame rate, and I must say I'm impressed. Jelly Bean 4.3 that my Nexus 7 came with wasn't so smooth. All in all, I have to say that this is the best Android update I've seen so far, and I recommend downloading and installing as soon as possible. If you don't know how, watch my video on flashing ROMs to Nexus devices, I'll put link below. The bad thing is that Android L preview is available only for Nexus 5 and Nexus 7 2013 edition Wi-Fi only. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to subscribe.